we are going to go through how to make an existing dashboard real time by changing its data source from Excel to Microsoft SQL Server. And also, we're going to learn about how to schedule an auto refresh in Power BI service. So let's dive right in. I've posted a video on my channel that shows how to create a beautiful dashboard like this in seven minutes. That takes you through all the design work that I did to arrive at the dashboard that we currently have. Once we are in the Power Query Editor, on the right hand side of the screen, in the Applied Steps section, we are going to go to Source, click on Source. You see that the data source is a CSV file and the path to the data source is red. So now we are going to change this entire path, which is the source to the data set to SQL Server. We are going to do that by first importing the same data set that exists in an or in Microsoft SQL Server into Power Query Editor. Before we do that, let's go to SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so I'm just going to connect and I'm going to go to the database. So I already created an, an existing database called Online DB, which houses the table that has the exact same data that um, was taken from that Excel sheet. So when I click on the tables drop down, you see that there's a sheet called Online Retail. So I'm just going to use a script to give us a preview of what exists in that table. So I'm just going to type use online db execute that and then i'm going to write a script that allows me to view the table select all from the table name which is online retail i'm going to execute this and you can see at a glance that the exact same columns that exist in the online retail um, table are shown here so we still have eight columns exist there and when we go back to sql we have one two three four five six seven eight columns so it's important to note that in changing data sources and the number of columns is also relevant you may if you have the exact same number of columns the data source change process would be seamless however if you don't have the same exact same number of columns there it it's still the data source would still change but there's a tendency for there to be an errors on the dashboard which would require you look at it case by case but in this instance they are exactly the same in number so i guess we can go on to change our data source so we'll start by first importing this data here by in our into our power query editor by clicking on new source selecting sql server And we're going to enter in the server name so from our sql server database we'll just click on properties from the the database name at the top and highlight the name of the database i'm just going to post paste that here and we want it to be real time and so we are going to click the direct query option and to I have another video that states um, the differences between the import mode and direct query mode, which can you, you can access from my profile in the RQ Studio. So we'll click on direct query. OK. Great. So in the navigator we have, we can see all the databases that exist in SQL Server. I have a dummy database, but we are interested in the online DB. So I'm just going to click on that. And we have a preview of the table. If you click on it, we can see that the exact same columns exist in this preview. So I'm going to click on OK. And then we have a second table showing on the left hand side as online retails 2. So this is the table from Microsoft SQL Server. So now we are going to go to the advanced editor and pick the script that has been written there. But before that, I just want to perform some transformation on this table. I'm going to just change the invoice date from text to date time. Right. 
and now I'm going to go to the advanced editor and you'd realize that an additional step has been added called change type where the invoice date has been changed to date time type right so I'm just going to you know pick this entire script cancel this and I'm going to go to my online retail um, table that has an Excel data source I'm going to click on the advanced editor and I'm going to select this and replace it with the script from the online retail too and there you have it our data source has been switched from Excel to Microsoft SQL Server so now I can delete the table that I initially imported from SQL Server I can now close and apply go back to my dashboard and the update should reflect here showing the exact same numbers exact same everything considering the columns were the same great so our dashboard with a data source of over 500,000 rows that exist in SQL has been loaded and so you realize that the dashboard refreshed and everything every visual shows as is there are no errors and so our data source change is complete from the power bi desktop mode so what we are going to do now is we are going to save this report and update and upload it into power bi web service in order to get get through the process of scheduling an auto refresh that allows you to allows power bi to automatically refresh your report given a specific time we'll get through that so let's click on publish and i'm just going to click on my workspace click on select and i'm just going to publish the reports to power bi web service great so it's online we can have a look at it by clicking on open great and our report has been published successfully online so i'm now going to click on my workspace to view the report and the data source that has been attached to it so i have a list of data sources here and i named our dashboard online retail dashboard so the dashboard has a chart as an icon beside it whereas the data source has you know a semantic model or dots as an icon beside it so we are going to click on refresh on retail and we're preparing to refresh and you realize that i got an error or a triangular sign indicating an error beside it it says that there was an error with your data set select the warning icon to view details right scheduled refresh has been disabled please try again so in order to refresh a sql server database you need to connect to the on-premise sql server database considering the fact that the sql server database sits on my computer i have to connect from power bi to my sql server using a power bi gateway so i'm going to click on scheduled refresh it's going to take me to the semantic model view and you realize that we are going to go to the gateway and cloud connection options click on it and it says there's an option to use on-premise or v and vnet data, data gateway however it says you don't have any gateways great so we need to get a gateway we need to download a gateway and install it in order to go ahead so we are going to do that we are going to go up and click on the download icon on the top right corner of the screen then click on data gateway and this is taking us to the Microsoft website for the data gateway it allows you to connect to on-premises data sources with power bi gateway the power bi gateway is used to allow for connections between power bi reports online and on-premise data sources in this instance our data source which is microsoft sql server is on premise it is the pathway through which on-premise data sources can be linked to online power bi dashboard the difference between the download standard mode and the download personal mode is that standard mode allows 
for sharing of reports with multiple users and also allows for auto refresh of multiple data sources if you intend to share your dashboard with most which in most cases you would you may have to go with a standard mode however if it's just for personal purposes that you are you alone are going to use you can go with personal mode but almost always i would suggest you click on standard mode so we are going to download the standard mode it's downloaded and so now we're going to click on it and install the gateway so i can find it in our downloads folder so i'm going to accept the terms of use click on install and the gateway has been installed so the next step is to enter the email an email address and you would have to use the same email or, or the same e address that you are using for your power bi report yeah so the connection or the email you created for your power bi web service is the same exact email that you and click on sign in So I'm going to click on next. We are going to go with the register new gateway on this computer option. And then here we're going to add a new on-premise data gateway name and a recovery key. I mean, you can give it any name you want and then a recovery key of eight characters in minimum. So I'm going to name mine online retail gateway. And give it a recovery key configure great so our online our on-premise data gateway has been configured and is ready to be used so now we're going to go back to our power bi web service we're going to go back to my workspace and then we're going to look for the dashboard created. I'm going to click on schedule refresh option. I'm going to scroll down to gateways and cloud connections. This is where our configuration will take place. So I'm going to click on the arrow icon and you realize that the, the gateway we just created now shows or pops up as an option here and the status says not configured correctly so we will now have to configure it from this end as well so click on this down arrow and we see that it has the sql server as a source but we need to add the gateway add to gateway so we'll click on that and it automatically detects the server name of the gateway you have to give it a connection name and fill out the form so I'm going to give a connection name as online retail SQL to Power BI. Yeah. And for for me in particular, my I connect to my Microsoft SQL server using the Microsoft authentication. So however, if you connect using a username and password, you can just click on basic and then you enter username and password. But for me, I using the the Microsoft authentication mode. I'm going to click on Windows, and then enter a username and password. So the username is going to be the username you use for your Microsoft laptop. Possibly the username that you use to enter to sign in or log in. We can also have access to this in Microsoft SQL Server. So I'm going to go back there. Click on my database. Go to properties. And in properties, you can see connections and view connection properties. So I'm going to click on that and we have view of the username right there. So I'm just going to highlight the username and username here and then the password as well and then click on create. So I'm going to leave the privacy level as organizational for this video and we have connected to our database currently so we'll just click on the gateway connection and you realize that the data source is loading a little bit and finally there's a new option that says map to so we are now going to map our microsoft sql server um, dashboard to this existing online retail sql server gateway that we have created I'm going to click on that click on apply 
and we have a notice notification that says online gateway connection has been updated so i guess we are good to go now and we can now see that there's a refresh option that is down here when we click on it we have the option to configure a refresh schedule so you can turn that on and now decide on a schedule whether you want to your report to refresh daily depending on the information that is how frequently information is updated in your sql server database or you can select weekly or you can also schedule a specific time add another time if you want to but we want to check if this refresh and um, if our configuration worked so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the report and realize that there is an option beside the semantic um, data type report that says refresh now so we can click on that and what it's going to do is it's going to load and refresh and we will be able to tell it has been refreshed by the date so you realize that the date will change the date and time will change to the current date and time a better way to check would be to update our data sql database with new information and cross check the dashboard and so let's let's dive right into doing that so in our sql database what i'm going to do is i'm going to add two new rows of data that has two new countries in our dashboard we had 38 countries so we are going to add two new rows of data with two different countries let's say ghana and nigeria to make the countries 40. so first let's go to sql and count perform a unique count of the country column to derive how many countries are in that column Great, so a distinct count of the country column gives us 38 countries in total. So now we know that this is the total number of countries in the table. We are going to move on to add two new rows to this table. A script for inputting data into the table. I'm going to run this script. Right, so we have two rows entered successfully. So I'm just going to rerun the initial script of count of countries great so realize that now we have 40 countries instead of 38 right so this has been updated in our online database so what we are going to do next is to refresh in power bi web service click on refresh and wait for it to completely refresh to reflect the data and refresh the report view let me just refresh this page so i'm going to re refresh the report view click on the dashboard great so we realize that the dashboard reflects the countries 40 countries so we can say that um, our dashboard is working perfectly in real time all right thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and as always peace